Hey gluten-free foodies, today's adventure takes us into the world of gluten-free delights with Hungry Root Meal Delivery. Join us as we unbox, cook, and savor some incredible meals. Spoiler alert, it's about to get delicious. So we just got our Hungry Root order, you can see right here. I just unpacked it, it's on the counter. I need to put it all away in the fridge. I will be making the four meals that it came with and I'll show you how they turn out. Also, all these meals are gluten-free as well as dairy-free. On some of the things that are labeled gluten-free that come straight from Hungry Root, you'll see a disclaimer that they're made in the same facility as wheat. If you want to know more about that and the safety of that, you can check out my masterclass in the Gluten-Free Wellness Collective. But in short, the company has sanitizing procedures and all of that that they go through. Um, it's not made on the same equipment. It's made in the same facility, and these facilities are massive. So these things are never like close to each other. That's just a disclaimer that's there. And studies have shown that products made in the same facility are not necessarily any more unsafe in terms of cross contact than those that are not having that label at all. So just as a side note, all these meals are dairy free as well um, because that's the setting that I set it on. So yeah, follow along and see what we make. And if you're curious to try Hungry Root yourself, I do have a link below, um, a referral link that will save us both a discount on our orders. Okay, so it is dinner time and we are going to make one of the first recipes, the first of four, we're gonna do the pesto gnocchi with asparagus. So I have the asparagus here. I have the gnocchi here, and then I got one of the containers of pesto. I really don't think my family will need both, so the other one we'll probably hold on to for another meal. Um, Cause yeah, sealed, it's gonna last another like two or three months. So what I need to do is cut the asparagus up into smaller pieces, cook it in a skillet, and then add the gnocchi to the skillet, and then at the very end, we just add some pesto to it, so it should be pretty simple. So I'm gonna cook it and show you how it turns out. So our pasta dish is done, it's all right here. I pulled out littler bowls for the girls and we still look like we'll probably have some leftovers. So I'm gonna dig in. I'm super excited to eat it. The dog wants some too. This is really good. You think it's good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. So now we're on day two of a hungry root dinner. So tonight I'm gonna make the tzatziki shrimp veggie bowl. Um, this looks really good. What came in my Hungry Root package are these potatoes, mini cucumbers, two packages of shrimp, this dairy-free tzatziki, which looks so good. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried this before. And then from my own pantry, I need a little bit of oil and salt and pepper, which I have here. So yeah, I'm gonna throw everything in the oven. It says it takes 27 minutes. We'll see if it's right. So I'm just taking these potatoes they gave me. You can find these at your normal grocery store too. I love them just for convenience because they're pre-washed and they cook faster than like a big potato. So we're just putting them on there. I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil just to give them a good coat. Sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix them up a little bit and put them in the oven. So 
So while the potatoes are in the oven, I'm gonna take this time to prep the cucumbers before I cook the shrimp. Shrimp will cook really fast, so I'm just gonna slice these up really quick. I gave them a quick wash, and I'm just gonna slice them up to go on our plates. So now that that's done, I'm gonna work on our shrimp. So in this pan, I heated up a little bit of oil and I'm gonna add my shrimp that I patted dry. I'm just gonna put it in a single layer on here. This pan is just sprayed lightly with oil and it only really needs to cook for about two minutes. Once shrimp starts to turn into a ring, we flip it over. We do not want to overcook shrimp. It gets dry and rubbery. This is already cooked. It cooks so fast. If you like seafood and you don't have a lot of time to cook, it actually makes shrimp a really great option for you. So it cooks so fast, as you can see. And yeah, even though I'm a vegetarian myself, I do cook meat and seafood for my family. It has lots of health benefits and I think it can be part of a healthy diet. I just personally prefer to not eat meat. It, I just don't like it, but my family does. All right, some of these are getting overcooked. So example, see this? Ooh. This one is definitely done. It's super, super tight. So I'm gonna take these off the heat. So now that everything's prepared, we're going to assemble our bowls. We're gonna add a little bit of this tzatziki along the bottom of the bowl. Spread it out. Add some potatoes over on the side here. Add some shrimp. And add some of our cucumber slices. And that's our meal. I'm gonna be eating this without the shrimp. The kids will probably be eating it with only a little bit of potato because potatoes are not their favorite, which is insane to me. But look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? You wanna try it before sure. we call the kids down to eat? Well, you ate a potato. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about that tzatziki. It looks really good. How is it? Good? It's really good. What's your favorite part? Um, I think the shrimp and the cucumbers and the tzatziki is good. This is how I plated it for my kids, just to give you an idea. Night three of making hungry root. So tonight is beyond the rainbow tacos, is what they call it. So I have beyond beef that I'm gonna cook up like taco meat. It did not come with taco seasoning. It just said season how I like. I found these on sale by Siete um, chorizo seasoning, so we're gonna cook them with that. So in one pan, I'm gonna cook this up till it's done, and then the other pan, I'm gonna cook up this rainbow veggie mix that looks really good. And when it's all done, I'm going to heat up these corn tortillas and assemble tacos. So pretty simple. So the veggies are cooking in this skillet, and they're cooking down quite nicely. And the Beyond Beef is over here. I added the Siete seasoning, so that's why it's orange. It was not orange before that. So I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit more and it'll be about time to eat. All right, so I warmed up my tortillas here, the corn tortillas, and they're ready to assemble. So I have my veggies here. Tortillas. Yeah, corn tortillas. The kids are hungry. We just got home from dance. So there's the veggie. We're gonna top it with a little bit of the Beyond Meat. All right. 
And then it came with this green chili sauce, which is by Hungry Root. And this stuff is really good. I've used this in other recipes before when I've ordered from Hungry Root. It's spicy, so I probably won't put it on the kids' stuff, but Tyler and I will eat it. And then we'll add just a dollop of guacamole on top of each one. You like guacamole, don't you, kid? I have one who loves guacamole. So there's those. And these are really pretty. So I'm excited to eat these tonight. So tonight's our last night of doing a Hungry Root meal. And this one seems to be by far the easiest. All we have to do to make this um, carnitas burrito bowl is to cook up some of this already made carnitas um, in a skillet. I've had this before, it tastes really good and it cooks up very quickly. So that'll be super easy. We're going to heat up rice in the microwave and heat up a little bit of this cucumber, corn, black bean salad to go on with it. It also came with this sour cream. Um, so we'll use some of this Kite Hill dairy-free sour cream on top as well as some guacamole because we have some of that left over. Um, yeah. And that's it, it's gonna be really easy. So I'm gonna cook it up and it's good that this is easy and fast because we have to leave our house in like 30 minutes. So quick dinner time. All right, so I would say I spent maybe eight to 10 minutes cooking um, and I'm going to assemble a bowl really quick because we have to run. So I'm gonna put some of the rice in the bottom. This rice smells so good. All right, so rice in the bottom. I'm gonna add some of this bean and corn mixture. Right here. Some pork. And add some of the Kite Hill sour cream right on top. And that's it. Thanks for joining our Hungry Root Taste Adventure. If you enjoyed these gluten-free and dairy-free delights, be sure to hit subscribe for more mouth-watering content.